Okay, so we got another costume here. I've been waiting for this one for a while. I was finally able to get a hold of it. Of course, it's listed as Tyrannosaurus. Let's try to come up with different names for these. Let's open this up. Fanpex. Hey, they included a screwdriver. Pull that up. Oh. Let's see, looks like these are the USB type inserts, so you can either use the battery pack or the USB cable. Two fans, so you know it's gonna stay inflated. Oh. Here. Okay, got the tiny little screws here. These go in the, the battery packs. And so it's little instructions here. Got the straps tightened, the straps well to help you control the costume. All right, we'll see how it goes. It's taking a look right away the two fans, the orange fans. Here's the feet, looks like may have the floaty foot on this costume. So spines all the way down the tail. So I kind of like this, it, it breaks up the monotony of the costume. Front zipper, it's a uh, two, two zippers on this one. Green underside. This did come in a variety of different colors, but I chose the gray with green. The felt ridges over the eyes and down the middle there. Little eye. I like the uh, printing on that. It's a big old chomper there. And I like how they actually had this go in a little bit, so it's not just jagged felt all around. It actually looks, for the most part, like teeth coming out. So I bet it goes down in there. Got the viewing port right here, the base of the, the neck, and the... All right, this is interesting, looks like this one and goes through here and slides in like that. Control the wrist. You could probably just get a dark gray gloves or something. But uh, two fingers. Uh, with the two fingers, I'm gonna call this one Gorgosaurus. Any objections calling it Gorgosaurus? <laughs> Too bad. I'm doing it. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the details on this before I head out. A lot of really fine details, little round scales, things with the, where the creases and everything would be surprisingly detailed. See on the leg, on the side, all of these scoots and everything, stripes down the back. Yeah, and they put it so it's got some decent gaps between the, the spines and everything. Let's see what they said about the straps. They said there are some straps in here. Okay, we have, we have some straps. No idea where these are going to be going or catch to Let's see this is stuff on it says just uh, tie yourself up till you feel comfortable we'll see how that goes so let's head out and uh, see what it's like looks like his entrails coming out right now <laughs>
completed quick. pretty good like I'm right here and I can see about about uh, this is my visual acuity right here yeah. but the most comfortable is standing upright but so you could get the lateral pretty easy Yeah, but with, with this one, your hands are exposed so you can interact more. The only downside is it does a bit of strain on your shoulders. Yeah, true. See, but... Oh, thank you. Yeah, they took better care with designing the feet on this one, I think. You got, you got the dew claw too. Yeah, so... This is writing it up as far as it'll be. A bit over six feet would be comfortable with in it. And the head, in the pictures, the head looked to be more proportionate. Now, how's the tail? The tail is, it's got a downward turn to it, but... Is it inflated all the way? Huh? Oh, is, it inflated all the way. It just has a, a natural downward turn to it. So it just goes down. Okay. So after going out and trying it on, I still don't really know what these straps are supposed to be for. It says time around you until you feel comfortable, but I don't know, maybe that's to keep the bottom from holding down like some of the others. I don't know, I just slapped it on and uh, did like a normal. It's about the feet here. Feet inflated really well. Got the floaty foot issue but not as bad as some of the others. See, and they actually added a little bit of uh, webbing and the dew claw on this costume. So that was a really nice touch. It inflated really really fast. And on the, the hands, yeah, I, I can understand how, why they, they did this. It, the zipper is still a bit difficult to go up and down in some places, but overall it wasn't bad. It really comfortable to move around in. It stayed inflated. Biggest things I'd say is the, uh, the downward hook at the end of the tail. They probably could have had that go straight or curved upward. Only aside from that and weighing down on on my arm spit, which again, I'm, I'm sure these straps would have come in to, to play around that. Oh, just before I forget the uh, the head, they took the head to the next level on, on this. It seems kind of flat right here, but when it's inflated, it's like an, an actual jaw. It's got these little two bumps that come out that would happen and the big jaw going inside. Uh, Detail-wise, you know, for what it is and what it costs, I'd say it, it's really great. The printing looked great. Overall score, I'd say four out of five. And not perfect, a couple little tweaks here and there. But yeah, I'd, I'd wear this. See, I uh, recommend it and as far as uh, height goes, probably anywhere from the 5'6 to 6'2 uh, or 6'3. Uh, getting in and out was relatively easy. They attached with the, uh, the power bank instead of having to use the battery packs. So all good points. Again, I still would love to see someone get this design of a costume with the realistic print. 
really can't think of anything else to say on this, so let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. If they if you've got any questions on the abilities, I'm not sure if I'll be able to reach up and control the mouth just because the hands you do have a couple of holes there. So those have to be plugged up with something. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And don't forget for more inflatable costume content, be sure to donate on Patreon. Until next time, take care.